zoo. How go the training scenarios? I'm pretty good. So let's see what we got. We got decayable surfaces and uh, packets of creeper. I remember this mission a little bit. There's some missions I remember really well, and there's some that I don't. Uh, for instance, there's a certain one that I'm not ever going to forget because of how annoying it was. It was the last one. It was just, it just sucked. Let's just say that. So you're given ore to do this mission, which I kind of forgot the first time through. It's like 10,000. You get a ton. And uh, I think I ended up using it finally, like my second time through. I used it, and it actually did help. Sorry, we're going to take our sweet time with this first one. And those micro rifts are amazing. They do help a lot. Saying. All right, those things are called, hold on. These are called drones. These little flying things. They're annoying as crap. The, these are fairly easy to kill. Just a blaster will do it. Uh, these are not bad at all. There are other blasters that suck. They suck. They s I hate them so much. So we're going to get our blaster missile launcher combo going on and we're gonna put shields here what uh oh uh oh finish a blaster finish one finish a blaster and get some ammo to it uh crap shields get shields whatever get shields up this was a mistake on my part I really really screwed up come on hurry up build the blasters and let's go yeah, I majorly effed up this time. Alright, kill it. Kill it with fire. Alright, now we can start building the missile launchers. I, uh, tr may have just slightly underestimated the ability of the creeper in this, this particular mission. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get all cylinders running. There we go. Missiles going in. I'm telling you, missiles are like the most useful weapon in this game. Are missiles? We're gonna go ahead and cap these emitters right now. Let's go ahead and get these like that, so we can get a surround on them. It's okay to move your blasters in the creeper a little bit. Like, it doesn't hurt them. They just can't take a lot. So, that's the answer to that question. They have a health bar. Alright, come on. Let's just go ahead and cap this emitter off really quickly. Now we got this one. I'm going to get some tech domes going. Now that we got these secured. I do want a beacon right here though. Go ahead and send this and kill it. Uh oh, blasters, blasters, get the, get the, get them, get them, get, get over here. Drones suck. I hate drones. They are awful. Alright, it's gonna build this nullifier. 
spit it out. All right, let's go ahead and establish that we're going to get some more systems going online here. And then some more tech domes. Yeah, blast or missile launchers cannot kill drones. That's the only drawback to them. They're still amazing, so don't say a word about them. I'll kill you. Joking. 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 Completely joking. But still, missile launchers are amazing, hands down. Mm. Yeah, drones are an instant kill, by the way. That's why that was a dumb idea. But at least it was for four, so we're going to do that. We're going to have two lines of blasters, two lines of missile launchers. That's how this is going to go. So let's do this. See, I don't like how they want to line up really oddly. And uh stay in there or whatever. Alright, so we got point two five. I don't understand what that means, point two five, because point two five is one fourth a second. So it means I wouldn't be getting one fourth weight second. I guess that makes about. I guess that's about right. Anyway, we just no. Can we not form up the way I want you? No, apparently not. Yes, we can. Apparently, yay! They're they're not stupid. This mission's a tactical fight, though. It's a fight to the bottom. The missile launchers are not for the drones. The drones are annoying, but they're not that bad. I'm going to get a, one of these, and we're going to go ahead and get uh, beacon range. Beacon range helps a lot. The beacon right there that we're just building right now is going to cover a lot. Hold on, just a second. <laughs> Sorry, something just came out. Mm. I had to take a drink of my Dr. Pepper line. My throat got really dry. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Continue on. And leave those missiles behind. I don't really need them. Alright, so we're about to need them, though. So sorry if this is a bit slow. I try not to be slow when I do this. Like, this is almost a speed run for me. Oh crap, wrong, 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 bad. And I'm sure there's someone who can do this really quickly because this is not a, it's not really a hard game. Like, you're going to win eventually. It's just, it it can take a while if you let it, I guess you could say. Alright, so this, now I'm going to need start needing ammo faster. So I'm going to build one of these. I actually need two of them. I'm building one of them.
Weapon range is another very useful upgrade. It will your missile launchers benefit most from this because they can sit in the back and just fire. But everything does benefit some from it at least. And like I said, I got that that rift generator, rift generator, whatever. Command and Conquer Three, that'd be the ultimate weapon for the the screen, but no. The uh, micro rift, and it helps get ammo faster to me. That's why it's really helpful. And now I'm also gonna start no. No. Double maker right here. Uh, the makers do help a little bit, so we're going to build them. They help kind of, like I so said, you get 10,000 uh, uh, res or, or bonus. You get 10,000 or bonus. So they, they're useful to help push the stuff back. And uh, so push. We're gonna fight this stuff back. Alright, I'm, I'm stopped caring about the missile launchers idea of formation. We're just gonna move them. They're not like our blasters. Our blasters need to move on force in order to be effective. Missile launchers are very helpful, though, I admit. They are extremely helpful in fighting this stuff back because they're they're the heavy hitter. Missiles automatically seek out the deepest and thickest creeper they can. They don't just get destroyed. They can actually seek out creeper and find it. So that's why they're helpful. See, they're they're trying to go for that deeper stuff in the back, but that's the extent of their range. So therefore, the the thicker the creeper is, the that's why the range upgrades benefit them the most. They can reach the deepest creeper. Okay, so that's the gate producing the drones. Might as well go ahead and cut these off. These are useless. That's going to come back to bite me in the butt, cutting that off, I'm sure, but I don't care. See, they're looking for the deep stuff. See how they're doing that? Yeah, they're going for the deepest creeper possible. That's their thing. That's why when I get them in this room, they're helpful. I'm going to do their weapon fire rate upgrade and the packet speeds. I want these. I want packet speeds. I want packet speed. I want reactor efficiency too. Alright.
bawah lah. The packet speed upgrade is like greatly improving the speed that that thing's built. Safe. All right, so now we're gonna go for these. See those, uh, yeah, those suck. It's a lot of creeper, too. That's pretty thick stuff. Let's go and move these guys out. Set these up to kill. I'm I'm kind of just walking them, step by step, walking them over there. The weapon range upgrade. Alright, so now I'll get the nullifier. I'm gonna move something there. Now we're now we're cooking it. Cooking? I don't understand what I just said. Anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. There that goes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to show, or I'm going to show how to do this next thing. This, in my opinion, is the best way to handle these, these, um, producers, these creeper emitters, as I call them. Build plenty of everything. Just build a ton of missile launchers and a ton of blasters. And a lot of reactors too, you know, to help. Reactors are for taste, okay, whatever. Tech domes are too. I don't even know why I'm building tech domes, they're not even that useful. Pretty much got all the tech I need. I'm gonna build them anyway. So I'm I'm impatient, that's why. I mean I it, it's because I'm impatient. Yes, I just strained my energies to the like the end of their rope. It doesn't matter. Now I'm pretty much done straining my energy because I'm gonna go. Okay, those are built up now. I'm gonna go ahead and let these rebuild real quick because these. I'm still going to speed things up. Let them build. Alright, so I'm going to improve my reactor efficiency again, too. I'm not going to run out of that helps ammo, I think. Now, here we go. This is how I do it.
Um, it's not really working like it did last time, I admit. It. It kind of is. Yeah, yeah, I guess it kind of is. Because I do remember one side ended up getting killed last time I did this too. So. There you go. The missile launchers help reduce the thickness, and the blasters do the killing, like the upfront stuff. In fact, let's go ahead and help these out. I gotta need some reinforcements. Thank you. There you go. That's how you get through there. You do the same thing to this side, but we'll just do more blasters instead of really missile launchers. We will do missile launchers though, because missile launchers are cool. V for victory. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Um, I think this is where we're gonna stop our little session. We're gonna do mission seven, eight, nine, and ten uh, next time, probably tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody.
My name is Victory Over Self, and this has been Creeper World Training 2. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.